Uh, ah, it's your boy. What is up, T Nation? I am back, and uh, I'm just gonna say right now, main reason I left YouTube for like five, six ish months, grieving. Grieving is a very, very, very long process, and I'm still not entirely over grieving yet. I miss my dog and uh i'll give you the backstory to this before we start this video uh you can skip this part if you want and or you could listen it's up to you so um after i had recorded my thank you for 100 subscribers video um i went to check out my dog who was dealing with a uh, kidney failure that at that point what like at that point, we couldn't do anything about it. We couldn't treat it with anything. We just had to, like, you know, accept the fate. You know what I mean? And uh, we thought he was going to live for... We thought we didn't think he was going to live forever until... Uh, we knew he was going to have, like, a, a up-and-coming death. But we just thought he was going to live until, you know, at least September. But, uh, unfortunately, I went to check on him, and, uh, he was gone. He was just lying there in his sleep, and I'll never forget the words my dad said to me. I had tears rolling down my face. My good boy is gone. And, uh, I cried. I cried very, very hard. And I mean very, very, very hard. Uh... So, you know, this video goes out to anybody who's, you know, lost a family member due to COVID, lost a friend due to something. Uh, you Even if you lost your pet, like a bird or a snake or a cat or even a dog. And, uh, you know, very, very tough and sad process, so. But, uh, by the way, sorry for that sad story at the beginning. I just, you know, had to get that off my chest. You know what I mean? I want to share it personally with the people that, you know, have been supporting me through. And, um, you know, uh, also happy about Kiss Every Month. Just started today. This video, as of me talking, was uh, recorded on February the 1st. I don't know when it's going to come out, but, yeah. Also, my mic sounds a little weird, so, like... It sounds like when I pronounce L's, it makes it sound like a W. So, yeah, um, as you can see by, you know, my screen right now, we're going to be looking at the top 30 WWE theme songs. Because, you know, I want to switch it up a little bit. You know, stop posting some Roblox, you know what I mean? Switch up the content here. So, uh, yeah, let's get into it. It's made by uh, Zion. Brock Lesnar. Really? Y'all really put Brock Lesnar at the bottom. Okay, like, I, I can see that, but like, if there's somebody better, I'm gonna tell you. Anyways, if there's somebody better than Brock Lesnar on this list, I'll be like, utterly really shocked. But right now, I'm kind of feeling a little bit of disappointment here. Because I play the whole song, we're gonna be here for a while. If you smell what the rock is cooking. What? 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 The rock says. This man the rock, really the has rock, the nerve the rock to put says, the rock, the greatest WWE superstar in history, at number 20. He's better be some the rock good says, new song. The rock, the rock, He's Eddie Guerrero? Bro. Bro. What? You just put three of the greatest people at the bottom three? These better be some good theme songs. And let me tell you this, Eddie Guerrero are a feature of Eddie Guerrero, but his theme song is not better than that. No, I do not think so. I don't care what anybody says. Samoa Joe. Three-time NXT champion Samoa Joe is on 27. 
and he's better than The Rock. Okay, but I got one this thing, you know? So I'll have a problem. Jump, 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 jump,
right. This is basic, basic dog and dog dog and dog and comics. Word life. I want John Cena. I'm I want to John. Cena. This was John Cena's fault. I don't care about that hustle. My discipline is unforgiving. That is you back up in the defensive position and ask me to I love that song. Really? Really? Drew McIntyre. Really? This theme isn't even that good. This should be at like the bottom 20 with the other ones. This, how is this theme with number 16? How? Yeah. I mean, sure, Drew McIntyre's a good wrestler, but this theme is horrible. I would prefer my broken dream theme. Aww. The Texas Rattlesnake, like, what you gonna do when Stone Cold runs wild? Give me a hell yeah! I cannot do a very good Stone Cold Rattlesnake. Like, Stone Cold, he should be higher up on this list. Like, he, he's one of the greatest in the world. We better get some good moves. But, not, you put like all the good people at the bottom. Except, like, I feel like Trip Shawn Michaels on the ticket. Sami Zayn. Sami Zayn is at number 14. Did a nine-year-old nine make this list? It's like he just gathered a bunch of songs from 2017 and present and then put them together and called it a list. Tiger. Tiger. I don't know what makes this move. The fact that he got number 13 over the greatest. The fact that he decided to actually put him at number 13. Or the fact that he's at number 10. Ty Dillinger does have a good theme song, but it needs to be at the bottom. Oh, oh, I forgot how good this was. Especially that singing part. Hey, hey, yeah, hey, hey, hey. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, bro. Listen, listen. I watch wrestling through all the generations. Let me tell you, bro. Arn Anderson. Oh my gosh, but Arn Anderson is amazing. Oh my gosh. I have voices in my head. They count to me. Ooh, we're getting to the good ones now. I totally forgot about Randy Orton. We're getting to the good ones now. We're at the top 10. These better be some fire top 10. These better be some fire, fire top 10. Randy Orton. I wonder who's gonna be in the top 10. Judging how we want to do like every single game. Oh, it's to make up. Robert Williams. Really? You put Robert Williams at number nine. Better than Randy Orton. Better than Drew. Oh, no, he's not even better than Drew McIntyre. He's not even better than Drew McIntyre. And you put him at number nine. He needs to be in the bottom 15. I don't care what you say. What are these other people? You started with 29 as the rock. Wouldn't you like to get away? Not this ad. Ricochet? Ricochet at number eight. This theme isn't even good. Well, this theme is not even good. How is this in the top ten? I'm like, don't get me wrong. I love Ricochet and all. Well, like, this theme isn't even good. I prefer the new theme over this, bro. What is this? It's that imitating the one that is in the top. Oh. oh, snap. Oh, 
Wait, is this the one with the lyrics? Yep. 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 The Rising Sun by itself with no lyrics is amazing. Hiro Nakamura is probably the worst thing. I absolutely despise him. Not, not even just because he's a heel, but like, this game is horrible. So I have to get. Ooh, okay. Okay. This chart has a lot of up and down, but this is definitely a big up. I feel like number one is gonna be the Undertaker. Cause like, all we need is a Shawn Michaels in here maybe. Get a Shawn Michaels. Triple H is like, what, like, four? Like, four to six with theme songs? I'm surprised, Kyle. You think you know me? Ooh, pet? This is absolutely worth it. What you 2020. This is from two years ago. And you can't even pick up good team songs. You can put a cruiser on here. And it would have been better than having a Randy Orton on here. Really? Really? This isn't even the head of the table I'm gonna This is still when he uh returns. Bro, what is this guy? Oh my gosh, I need to get this thing from day one. What is this? Did it? You could have, like, at least put his head on the table for you, and it would have been better. This goes, this goes in the bottom 20. What? Really? Really? Seth Rollins is number two. This theme isn't even good. His Monday Night Messiah theme is better than this. And it's not even good. Seth only has like one good theme and it's the visionary theme. That's the only theme I like. I hate every else, every other theme. His gimmicks the rounds, rounds pulls up things so well. Now who took the spot at number one? I feel like it's like the Undertaker or Shawn. You put Finn Balor at the number one was up. He said all time. He said of all time. He said of all of all time. WWE is what? Oh, what? 80, 90 year history. Finn Balor's the best thing. The best team to come up with. You have the best NXT team. Even if you had the best NXT team, Adam Cole would still beat him. And it didn't even have to be his NXT theme. It could be his um, Taco Bell's five dollar chalupa crazy spice. Your beef for veggie faves in a box. But you had to put him here. Well, that makes that makes up the end of the video, guys. Um, uh, really glad I got to you know rank this with you. Comment what you think. Uh, you know, comment what you think. Where the um. What am I, I am just getting so tongue twisted. Just comment where you think the theme song placing should be. This list was like absolutely horrible. Um, well, I might post another video tomorrow, judging May if I may or may not have a snow day. So, uh, peace out, T Nation. Um, maybe see you tomorrow.